Hey everyone, it's Esmond. Welcome to Basically MTG and welcome back to another episode of Quintessential Commander. This is the final episode before Kaldheim officially releases on paper and it's a very special patron requested episode. So the deck I will be playing today has been sent in by my very generous patron Andrew McDonnell. Thank you so much for your support and for sending in this deck list. If you want to be a patron, go check out my Patreon page, they get a bunch of cool benefits and it really helps me to produce this series. Uh, you can request for a commander to be built around or you can just send in your deck list for me to build and play on this series. Anyway, for today we are back at the command tower at Bounty Arena. We're playing another game and today I am joined by Gabriel, Jason and Drag, and these are the decks that we are playing today. First up is the patron requested deck sent in by Andrew. The commander is Emil the Blessed and this is the Celesnia Unicorn from Jumpstart. It's trying to flicker creatures using Emil's um, activated ability to get extra ETB triggers, extra value and it even has a few uh, infinite combos in the deck. So I kept a pretty good hand with a Temple Garden, a Command Beacon, a Emiria, Finehorn Elves, Nature's Law, Good Fortune Unicorn and the Great Henge. Next up is Gabriel and he is bringing back Belby Corrupted Observer. This Golgari deck is looking to ping his opponents and get free colorless mana off Belby's triggered ability and use that mana to cast big game ending things. He kept a good hand as well with an Undergrowth Stadium, Leech Ridden Swamp, a Phyrexian Tower, a Regrowth, a Hooded Blightfang, a Forsaken Monument and a Dreamstone Hedron. Next is Greg and he is bringing the Gruul Commander, Wart the Raid Mother. This is a Gruul spell slinging deck looking to copy all his spells using the Conspire ability on Wart. So he's looking to try and make some tokens and cast some big spells and copy them by tapping those tokens. And he kept a good hand as well with two forests, a rootbound crag, an arbor elf, a chaos warp, Arasta of the Endless Web, and Escape to the Wilds. And finally we have Jason and he's playing Edgar Markov, the vampire tribal. He's just playing a bunch of vampires and more vampires and all the vampires. And he kept a handful of vampires with a concealed courtyard, a polluted delta, a castle lock queen, a blood artist, brackish air, Anawan, the rune sage and patron of the vein. No. Yeah. yeah. All right, Gabriel. Draw. Tap land. Go. Draw. The forest okay. and uh, I tap it to play uh, Arbor Elf. Draw for the turn. I'll play Polluted Delta. Crack it. Paying one life. I search for a Blood Crypt tapped into play. Draw. I will shock in a Temple Garden. Tap for green and I'll play a Fine Horn Elves. Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Tap Overgrown Tomb and I pass. And tap. Draw. I'm going to play Woodburn Crag. And tap. And pass. I will untap. Draw for the turn. Play Concealed Courtyard. Tap for two. Play Blood Artist. Triggering Agamakov's Eminence ability. Generating a 1 1 Black Vampire token. Pass turn. Untap. Draw. Tap two. I will play a Nature's Ball. So I'll find a uh, savanna into play. Then I'll play a command beacon. I'll tap two. I'll play a wall of blossoms. When the ETBs, I draw a card. And say go. Untap. Drop. Play an uh, underground stadium. Yeah. And I play a hooded black fang. Oh, nice. I pass. Draw. I'm going to play a mountain. I'm going to tap. Three. I'm going to Arbor Elf to untap the forest to get one mana. Okay. Then I'm going to play Arasta of the Endless Web. I will untap, draw for the turn. I will play a Scrub Land. I will tap for three. Play Marvin Fine, oh. triggering Agamakov's Eminence ability. I'll go to combat. I'll swing the zero attack Blood Artist at Esmond. Triggering Marine Fine's ability, <laughs> Get, <laughs> getting a one, one white lifelink vampire token into play. Alright, I will block with my 0 4. Okay, block <laughs> successful. <laughs> Very good. I'll pass <laughs> I will attempt. And draw. I will play um, Emiria, the Sky Ruin, and just tap. I'll tap 4, and I'll cast my commander, Emil. 
and say go. Draw. Play Crawling Barons. I'll tap Rogari Colors to cast my commander. Mm. I'll go to combat. Uh, I swing one death touch at Greg. Uh, I'm the attack trigger. Each opponent lose one life and I gain one life. Alright. I go to second main. I get six colorless mana. I play a Dreamstone Hedron. Uh, tap five. Play Forsaken Monument. Okay, I pass. Tap. Draw. Uh, I'm going to play a uh, forest. I tap four. I'm going to untap a forest. To take five mana. Yeah. I'm going to cast uh, Escape to the Wild. So I exile the five card library and I can play this card until the end of my next turn. Excellent. What do you get? Okay. So you have a mountain, skull clamp, valakut exploration, trail of possibility and fire lead secret. Right, play a mountain, to tap to cast skull clamp. Yeah. And pass. I will untap. Draw for the turn. I will play Castle Lord Thrain. I will tap 3 mana and play Rakish Air, triggering Agamakov's Eminence ability. I will move to combat. Yep. I'll swing Maverin Fine at Gabriel. Uh, I have no block. When you attack, you trigger yourself. I'm getting another 1-1 one, one Lifelink Vampire. Mm, take 2. Triggering Ar Rakish Air on the hit, so Maverin Fine get a 1-1 one, one counter. Yep. I will pass turn. I will untap. Draw. Okay, I'll play a Plains. I will tap 5 and I'll play the Great Henge. Then I will tap 3, gaining 2 life with the Great Henge. I will play Rishka. Triggers on Great Henge, it gets a plus 1 counter and I draw a card. And then when the ETBs, I'll put 2 plus 1 counters, one on the wall and one on Emil. Okay, I'll move to combat. Yeah, I'll send Emil at Jason. Why me? <laughs> you have too many creatures. Yeah, too many creatures. I will block with one of the 1-1 one, one vampire token. Okay, sure. It dies, triggering blood artist. Yeah. I gain one life. I'll make Esmond lose one life. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Untap. Come on, big Eldrazi. Draw. <laughs> Fire Extend Tower. Okay. Uh, I'll go to combat first. Attack with Fooder Black Fang. Yeah. Then each opponent loses one life, I gain one. Okay. I declare no blocker, yep. so I lose one life. Okay, second main phase, I gain six colorless mana. Using three, I'll sacrifice Dreamstone Hedron to draw three cards. With the remaining three plus one green, I'll play a Guardian Project. I'll tap four colorless. Uh, I play a Thought Knots here. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'll look at uh, Jason's hand. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I'll exile this one. And no one. Then I draw a card from Guardian Project and gain two life from Forsaken Monument. Yes. Okay, I, I pass. Untap. Draw. So I'm going to tap three mana with one red. Okay. I'm going to cast a uh, Valakut Exploration. Yeah. Sure. I'm going to play uh, the Firelight Ticket. Yep. So, an ETB trigger landfall from Valakut Exploration. Yep. So, it exiles a Spear Garden. Okay. I'm going to pay two to cast Trail of Possibility. As an additional cost, I'm going to discard a uh, Hurricane. So, uh, I will draw two cards from the Trail of Possibility. I'm going to pay one to equip the Skull Clan to the RF Star. As on okay. the at the end of turn, uh, Valakut Exploration uh, trigger. Mm, yep. So I put the Spear Garden in my uh, graveyard uh, on dealing 1 damage to everyone. Okay. And pass. I will untap. Draw for the turn. I will play Plateau. This is bad. <laughs> I will pass turn. Uh, your end step. Uh, tap to our Assassin's Trophy, the Great Hand. Yeah, okay, sure. It's destroyed. Trigger Arasa. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yes. You get a spider. Um, so I'll find a planes yep. onto the field, then I'll go to my turn. Untap. Draw. 
Well, I'll play a command tower. I'll tap three mana. I'll play a good fortune unicorn. Oh. <laughs> Whenever another creature ETBs, I put a plus one counter on that creature. Uh, when it ETBs, I'll trigger Emil. I'll tap one to put a plus one counter on it. Oh, because it's a unicorn, it gets plus two counters. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Value. <laughs> Value. <laughs> Then I will tap 4. I will play Armorcraft Judge. Trigger, trigger, trigger. I'll resolve Good Fortune first. I'll put a plus one counter on it, on the Armorcraft Judge. Yep. And then the Judge trigger resolves. Yep. So I draw 5 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> I'll say go. Untap. Draw. I'll play a Swan first. Uh, I'll tap 2 to play Regrowth. Uh, I target Dreamstone Hedron. Triggering. Uh, yep. I'll tap six to play the Dreamstone Hedron. Mm. Uh, I gain two life from for second monument. I go to combat. Who that Black Fang goes at S man? Uh, attack trigger. I gain one life. Each okay. opponent loses one life. Yep. Okay, I'll block with my judge. Okay. Uh, before damage, I will tap three mana. I'll flicker my judge <laughs> using Emil. <laughs> Yeah. Just sure. let it die. No! I will draw all the cards! <laughs> <laughs> so my judge flickers. When ETB is the same thing happens, Unicorn will give it a plus one counter and I will draw five cards. Okay, I have six mana. I'll cast a Storm Cauldron. No. I gain two life. On the stack, I'll activate Castle Lock Fang. Okay. <laughs> draw a card, lose four life. <laughs> And then I'll tap this for 4 plus 1 more with floating, I'll cast a Horizon Stone. I get another 2 life. Oh my god. Uh, that ends my turn. Uh, tap, draw for turn. Okay. How many cards in hand? I have 4. 2. <laughs> 3, 4, 5, 6, <laughs> 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to tap Forest. It yeah. triggers Stone Cauldron. On this tap, I'm going to avoil for to untap it. Yeah. Yeah. For a green mana, yes. it goes to my end. Yes. I'm going to tap this one for red mana. Okay. It goes to my end. Yes. I'm going to play uh, Jessica's Will, targeting Esmo. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that resolves. You get 12 mana. I'm going to use six to cast uh, World's Red Mother. Yeah. Okay. ETB. There will be two Goblin token. Yes. So I'm going to play a land for turn, uh, a forest. Yeah. My additional land for turn, I'm going to replay the Runbone Crag, that's on untap. Uh, so balance. for both, there is a... Yeah. So first one will be a Banfire, second will be a forest. Okay. For the six thread, I'm going to use three, and I'm going to cast a Chaos Warp. Yeah. Okay. That I'm going to uh, conspire tapping the two Goblin Warriors token. Yeah. The copy will resolve, targeting the Storm Cauldron. Okay. Okay, so I'll just shuffle back in. Alright, resolves, land. Okay. Okay, the second one you're targeting is for second monument? Yeah, this one, yes. Man. <laughs> uh, the second card, open up, Storm. Okay. I still have uh, three red floating. Yes. So with uh, two of the red on one green, I'm going to play a Cultivate. I'm going to tap two spider tokens to uh, conspire it. Okay. So I'm going to uh, look for uh, four basic lands. I'm going to get uh, one mountain that enter tap, okay. triggering the acute exploration. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, one forest that's going to my end. For the second uh, copy, I'm going to put one forest that okay. will trigger the acute exploration for a far six. Okay on a uh, mountain that I will put into my hand. Okay. Uh, with that, I still have uh, four red mana in. <laughs> it's not that. I'm just going to use a three uh, red, uh, tapping two green, and I'm going to cast Shamanic Revelation. Ooh. So I draw a card for each creature that I control. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to take three. I'm going to cast Harvest Season, conspiring uh, with Ward on the... Wow. Okay, so you're finding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16 lands. Okay. 16 basic lands, 16 right? 16 basic lands. I don't have enough, I think, but... Oh. Oh, basically. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... I put 11 uh, basic lands into yep. play, tapped. 
We trigger uh, voilà, acute exploration. 11 times. So yeah, I don't have mana anymore. So I'm going to trigger this card and exile will go to my uh, graveyard and 14. So. <laughs> so we all take 14. And then this card. So I'm going to discard four lands. I will untap draw for my turn. I will play a Graven Canes. I will tap six mana to play Bolas' Citadel. Okay, sure. I will play Falcon Wrath Exterminator, playing to life, triggering Agar Markov. I'll swing all these at Greg. On attack trigger, uh, Marvin Fane will give me another White Vampire. Okay. No block. Sure. I will gain two life from Life Link. Okay. These creatures dealt damage to you, Greg, so each of them get a plus one plus one counter. I will pass turn. I will untap. Draw. I'll play a Plains. Um, I'll tap five. I'll play a Blessed Sanctuary. So it prevents all non combat damage that we dealt to me and my creatures. I'll tap six. I'll play a Brute Monitor. So when I eat TBs, I get three colorless scions. A unicorn will trigger, so the monitor gets a plus one counter. And then Blessed Sanctuary triggers, I get a unicorn. My unicorn gets a plus one counter from the other unicorn. Then I'll sacrifice the three scions for colorless, activating email, targeting the brood monitor. Any response? Yes. So I will cast Defacing Swat. Oh no, okay. Because my commander is there. Changing the target of the Emil? Yeah. Okay, so it has to be one of my creatures then. Yes, yeah, so I will target the Unicorn token. Okay. <laughs> the uni Unicorn token dies forever. I'm just gonna go to my end step and discard down. I'll discard a uh, Windswept Heath, a Forest, a Boreal Druid. Say go. Untap and drop. Uh, play a Mon. Uh, spawn. Uh, play a Eternal Witness. ETB, two effects. I will draw a card, and then uh, Eternal Witness triggers. I return Assassin's Trophy. Stuck on green, man. What's going on? Uh, go to combat. Who the Black goes at Greg? Uh, attack trigger. Each opponent loses a life. I gain a life. In the blocker. My second main phase, I have six colors. I will not do anything, and I will pass. Uh, six colors will go in here. Into the stone, yeah. Yep. Tap. <laughs> it's gonna be a long turn. Draw a card. I'm going to play a forest. Yep. Triggering Valacute acute exploration. Yep. Volcanic yep. offering. So Whoa. I'm going to tap for 20 mana. <laughs> there is 18 basic. I'm going to cast uh, Early Harvest. Okay. And I'm going to conspire with uh, Spider. Uh, oh, oh, basically. Okay, sure. Okay. So the copy resolve. I untap all my basics. I'm going to tap for 18 uh, mana. Yeah. You had 21 to start with, right? Yeah, three, and then you pay 3, so down to 18. Yeah. And then you untap 18, 18 plus 36, so 50 is 54. Yeah, so yeah, so it's 54, yes. After the second one result, yeah. then the 54. So I'm going to play a base within, and I'm going to conspire Target. it. Yes. Okay, so targeting? Both targeting this one. Both targeting this one? Yeah. Okay then, I'll respond. I'll tap this for three green mana, and then I will activate Emil, flickering the monitor. So it comes back in. I'll get my three scions, and I get a unicorn. The monitor also gets a plus one counter from the unicorn. Unicorn also gets a plus one counter from the unicorn. And then I have a loop. I will sack this for three colorless, activating Emil again, flickering this again. Okay, so it comes back in. I get another unicorn. The same thing happens. Okay, so that's my loop. I will get um, 100 unicorns. I will get this amount of unicorns. <laughs> 140 unicorns. Because <laughs> that's the amount of dice I have. And they all have a plus one counter. <laughs> yes, and then the beast within resolves. So the copy resolves? The copy resolves. Blessed Sanctuary is destroyed. I will get a 3 3 beast. And then the original. Well, yeah. So using all my mana but two, I'm going to play a Clan Defiance for X equal 47. 
conspire. Okay. So uh, the first copy resolve. I'm going to target blood artist. <laughs> blood artist dies. Yeah. Death trigger. Gabriel I gain one life. <laughs> Gabriel lose one life. Okay, sure. And the player, target player, who do you target? You. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, the other one, the second one, the second copy. Origin copy. I will target the, this one. <laughs> Alright, Marvin find dice. Dice. And player. On player, I will target you. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, both of us are dead. <laughs> and I'm going to cast uh, Sylvan Library. Okay. Yeah. On the turn, is this going to the graveyard? I'll take one damage. Yes, on pass. I will untap, draw for the turn. I will pay one life to play Vicious Conquistador, triggering Edgar Markov's ability. I'll pay three life to play X for zero. I get him the awakening. Oh, yeah, ah, yes. Yeah. Actually, but I know I have two blockers. Yeah. <laughs> I will play a land for the turn. Land. <laughs> I'll tap six, casting Aiga Markov. Ooh, this? Yeah, haste. I will go to combat, swing everything at yeah, Greg. On attack trigger, Aiga Markov. Oh, my uh, all my vampires get plus one, plus one. Uh, I'm going to block Edward Marcus with uh, Arasta. Sure. Second biggest one, I guess, is... Uh, one this one, 4-4. Four, four. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to block it's it with a spider. Yes, okay, he died. The damage happens. So, Edward Markov dies. Okay. Well, Second main. Yeah. I will activate Bolas' Citadel. Sacrificing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 oh. non-land permanents. <laughs> and Greg will lose 10 life. I'm dead. No! <laughs> <laughs> and that is it for another gameplay episode of Quintessential Commander. I hope all of you enjoyed it. It was a crazy game. Uh, yeah, I think all the decks, you know, really did what they were supposed to do. And, well, Greg probably should have targeted something at Jason, you know, maybe taken out his Citadel with the Beast Within. But, you know, overall, yeah, it was a fun game. There was just so much of math going on, you know, with calculating the mana, calculating the combat damage. So, yeah, I hope all of you enjoyed that. And once again, thank you to Andrew for your support uh, as a patron to submit this deck. I hope you enjoyed seeing this deck in action. It was super fun to play with. And to all my other patrons, thank you all so much for your support. It helps me so much to keep the show running. And to all of you who have subscribed, who like this video, who comment down below, it helps me so much. Helps me to get this video out by pushing the YouTube algorithm. So if you haven't subscribed yet, Please subscribe, like the video, comment down below, tell me what you would like to see featured on this channel and on this series. Uh, but otherwise, you know, that's it for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.